everybody, it's Natalie here and today I am filming a really exciting video. For being a college student, I feel like I do travel a lot more than the average college student. So a lot of my friends and a lot of you guys actually comment on my Instagram, how can you afford to travel so much? And basically for me, everything comes down to saving and making money and fun ways to make more money just to have some extra cash on the side. This video, I'm gonna show you guys five different ways that you guys can make money that you may have heard of before, maybe not. Um, I tried to steer away from just like, get a job. Like, obviously that's a way to make money, but I tried to make it a little more creative than that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe in the comments below, or subscribe in the comments below. If you're new here, please be sure to subscribe. The button is down below and give this video a thumbs up and let's get into the video. So the first way that I make money, you guys have heard this before through my Instagram, through my Twitter, Snapchat, literally everything. I am always selling my clothes. Every single season, spring, summer, fall, winter, I try to sell a good portion of my clothes just because a lot of things either go out of style or I realize if I haven't worn it in like, five months or something, I'm probably not going to wear it again. So I just like to get rid of it. The app that I use to sell is Poshmark and I wanna give them a big thank you for sponsoring this video. I love them, I've done a previous video with them and you guys bought a ton of my clothes on there so thank you guys so much. Poshmark is one of those apps where you can sell your clothes and you can buy other people's clothes. I've been with them for a few years. If you look back on my app or on my profile, there's some things on there from a really long time ago. <laughs> it's kind of funny to see what goes in and out of style. That is the best way to sell clothes for me because clothes are very expensive and people are always trying to kind of find cheaper ways to buy expensive clothes. So with Poshmark, you can sell your designer clothes, you can sell your not so designer clothes, you can sell whatever you want and you price it yourself. I think that selling your clothes is probably the best way to make money in my opinion just because you put the price and you know exactly how much you bought it for and you're kind of in control of your own little store. They also give you the shipping label so that you don't have to pay for shipping. So it's a really, really great app. If you guys want to download the app for free, please click on the link in the description down below. I will have that down below. Make sure to check out my store because I just actually posted a bunch of new stuff. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen that I was cleaning out my closet, but I posted a bunch of new clothing items on there for summer for you guys. So if you guys wanted to see that, totally can. And also I'm doing, if you buy something from my store, then I will write a handwritten note and give it to you guys. And if you guys have a Poshmark store, please comment down comment it down below because I love shopping on Poshmark. I love shopping just to buy like cheap clothes. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what your Poshmark is. The second way to make money is the basic like babysitting, dog sitting, house sitting, but with this app, it actually makes it a lot easier. So I don't know if you guys have ever heard of an app called Nextdoor. It's basically like a social media for your neighborhood. So you can just offer your services on there. Like you can say like, hey, I'm 19 years old, I'm 20 years old, I'm 21 years old, I'm here in town. Um, I would love to babysit here. Like you can kind of live a, give a little pitch about yourself, you know, and then other families in the neighborhood can see that and respond like, hey, what's your number? I'd love for you to babysit. Or some people might post on there, hey, I'm looking for a babysitter. And it's all in your neighborhood. So they do it by your phone number so that they can make sure that you live where you live um, and it's just your neighbors so I think it's a great way to offer kind of your services in your community so you're not kind of like going across town to babysit um, so I think that's a great great app and I've definitely used it before sometimes it's kind of fun just scrolling through it and like seeing what people are offering or seeing what people are saying because it's a lot of adults on there it's mainly adults um, no kids are on there like hey what's up guys like no it's not like one of those where you like post a status or whatever so it's kind of funny scrolling through and seeing what adults are saying the neighborhood. Um, I definitely have put out there that I'm available for babysitting and stuff because babysitting is such a great way to make money. Chances are these people already kind of know you or your family because they are your neighbors so you're way more likely to get someone than like care.com or something like that. The next thing that I have to for you guys is something that I recently did. It is to sell your college dorm room items. So there's a ton of people probably that you know going to college or going into moving into an apartment or moving into another room and if you just sell your old dorm room stuff people will buy that because that stuff is so expensive and and if you want to redecorate, it's a perfect way to make money and yet still redecorate. So I'm planning on redecorating my room next year. So I'm actually about to sell a bunch of my um, dorm room stuff. And I'm just going to post it like on Facebook. Be like, hey, does anyone want to get this? Just from close friends because I think if they trust you and they like know your style and stuff, they're way more likely to buy it from you because it is cute. It's still in good condition and it's like furniture or like, um, like 
art decor or something like that and so i think social media is a great place to put that and you can definitely charge your price however much you want and then you can redecorate your room or have that money for the side to travel like i do <laughs> the next one is kind of a classic one but i feel like people forget because once summer starts no one thinks about school at all but my biggest thing is sell your old textbooks so i have a ton of old textbooks actually laying around in my room from years and years so some from like freshman year even from high school i have some that like some like books that we had to read for class and chances are people below you, people younger than you are going to need those exact same textbooks and they are not going to want to spend $150 for a textbook. So you can rent it out to them and then have them give it back to you at the end if you're friends with them or something like that and then you can keep doing that and make way more money than the textbook costs or you can just sell it for a cheaper price and then make that money and use that for whatever you want. But I think selling your textbooks, don't forget to sell them just because it's summer. You still gotta think about that because those are expensive and those will definitely get you a lot of money. Also, if you're in high school and don't have textbooks to sell like college students do, be thankful you're not spending that much money on a textbook. But I know that you guys have other things like you guys have old books that you had to read for class and you can definitely sell those too even for cheaper than Amazon or Barnes & Noble. That can make you a little side money so I think that is a great idea. Don't forget about school just because we're on summer break guys. Still think about ways to make money. The next one I thought was a very fun one and I have definitely done. Um, it is to take up a hobby that you have and charge people for it. So whether that is photography, you can charge people for portraits or anything like that. People love taking pictures of themselves. And if you just charge them like 20 bucks for a session, that's so much cheaper than like a legit photographer. You're getting practice on them and they're getting $20 worth of pictures, which I think is kind of a win-win for everyone. So definitely do that display that on social media advertise that on social media you can even advertise that on next door but like that is something that i think can definitely make you money people love getting pictures of themselves since it is summer a lot of people are asking for graduation pictures senior pictures so you can definitely make money doing that Another service that I would think is to do makeup. If you are someone who is great at doing makeup, charge people to do their makeup. Be like, hey, I'm offering only $20 to do your makeup, $15. Charge however much or little you want, depending on how professional you are or how much people will actually be willing to pay. But if you just want a little extra cash and you also want practice with your hobby, then I think that is a great way to do that. So if proms are coming up, I feel like those kind of passed but some problems maybe still be in May, um, but prom is coming up or any special event or your dances or anything like that and be like, hey, I'm offering this service for this much. If you guys want to get your makeup done by me, show a couple of example pictures that you've done on yourself and then I promise you will get people. People love getting their makeup done. Also with hair, you can do the same thing. Another thing that a lot of people don't think about with is also taking up a hobby, but if you're really good at taking pictures or like really good at like social media, I know it's kind of like weird to be good at social media but you can look at local boutiques or local restaurants around you and ask them if you can run their social media site and obviously ask them for a little bit of compensation but just be like hey I've noticed that your social media can be better say it obviously nicely come prepared come with a pitch say this is everything I can do I can probably gain I can make sure that your followers gain this summer um let me like have at it, give it a try, and then see what they say because social media is the new form of advertising, you guys. If you don't believe me, I mean, look around, look at yourself. Like, do you, would you rather buy something because you saw it in a magazine and, or on a billboard, or would you rather buy something because your favorite person posted a picture of it look, on Instagram and they looked really cute? I'm gonna be running my dad's business Instagram this year or this summer because my dad doesn't have one, he has his own business, and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, you need to have an Instagram. Like, that's just, I feel like for me, that's kind of the best way of marketing. So yeah, so see, I'm doing something like that. You guys can totally do something like that. And I'm sure a lot of you guys never thought of that. But if you just go up to a local company, pitch them yourself, you're good. That is it for my video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to check out Poshmark in the down bar below. I have a link to them. You can also see my closet. Please buy my clothes. <laughs> Leave your Poshmark username just so I can creep on you guys and see if I want to purchase anything because I would love to get some cheap clothes. I also have a vlog channel, so please be sure to subscribe to that. I'm basically daily vlogging all summer, so hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye.